Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 5 of Digimon World and with this There we go. We now have above 300 brains and with that I think he should be hungry. Yep. Hopefully I have enough to feed him Here you go. Here's some meat And here's more meat because I know you're going to need it for what's about to happen. I hope Hopefully, uh, we can get this to happen. I was thinking, why not go for an ultimate? Hopefully, we get it. Come on, I hope, I, I hope this is enough to feed him to full, because... Uh, he may digivolve after he falls asleep, so I'm hoping he will. Anything else bothering you? Nope. Okay, well, then let's go into sleep. Because I raised all his stats up to the requirements they need, so I'm hoping he'll digivolve into his ultimate form. Go to sleep. And not yet. Pretty soon, I'm hoping. Because he's 13 years old, his weight is 71, which shouldn't really matter. Um, I trained all his stats above 300, except for MP. MP's a little bit on the low side, but that's okay. After that agonizing defeat, by uh, Greymon, I thought we need to train up a little bit because that's something I've not done. Um, but for today's episode, I do want to go and go through, hopefully without cutting the video like I had to do last time. Uh, I will get the new supplies of meat. Thank you. Um, that should be enough. I think we have enough items to get through where I want to go. I would wish I had more MP floppies. So I may have to, we may have to go back and get MP floppies after we fight a few battles, so I can continue on to where I was at. Uh, well, to where I'm going to be going, because today we're going back to Great Canyon. After learning about the uh, bandits, we're going to go deal with them really quick, because, well, we need to. They are. Um, they are kind of problematic, and I would like to deal with them. And this will be pretty much the whole episode, dealing with bandits, which is a reference to Path of Exile, if you did not know. It is the quest tonight, too. Anyway, Tropical Jungle, here we go. We're going straight back to Great Canyon, across the Invisible Bridge. I would like to fight them, but at this point, I don't really know if we should. Um, if this, if we get this a little bit early, like if we get through it a little bit earlier than I expected to, we will come back to um, File City and we will take care of something. So I'm hoping that a few things will happen in this episode. Mainly, we're going to be going for our ultimate Digivolution. Hopefully he will turn into it. Because we kind of want that. Anyway, uh, back across the invisible bridge here so we can get to the top area of Great Canyon. We want to go to the east here, past Monochrome Lunch Shop, which is no longer open, I do believe. Uh, I'll take that Digi Mushroom. We don't know if we'll need it yet. So, back here, back where the area forks. Uh, elevator to the east and west is a danger cliff. Anyway, we're going to want to come over here and there will be a cutscene that plays. Yes. Let's do it! And it's an Agumon and an Ogremon. And an another Agumon? Yes. Uh, how about no? <laughs> yes, it can be. I see you've heard of me. Yeah, but I have Tremor, and that will pretty much take care of all you guys. So, get in the van. Yes. Anyway, now that we've trained the past 300 brains, we now have Attack, Moderate, Distance, and ch uh, Change, which changes your target. Which we shouldn't need too bad, because we have Tremor, after all, so... Come on, charge up Tremor and Attack. So we do a ton of damage now. We also take less damage, so that's good. So we should be able to deal with Ogremon pretty easily. 
For the most part, I want to get rid of the Agumon, because they'll be mostly the problem. But we can learn that technique, so I would like to learn it. Oh, Ogremon just killed his other... the other people in there. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw an MP Floppy, Floppy because we might have to take care of this guy with our finisher, which doesn't bother me at all. It'll just take extra time for you guys to watch the video, which I'm sorry about. Oh, he dodged that. Well, he defended it. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Ah, oh, run off. But that was a ton of damage. Just keep knocking them down. There we go. And now we're gonna have to wait for our finisher to come back up. Uh, I may actually need to go back to town and get a few things now that we have our... Um, now that we're going to get bits for winning this battle. And I do believe that ability he's using is Tremor. It just looks a little bit different because he's got a club. But I would love to learn a new technique from this battle. Go on. Can we run? Nope. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to block a lot of stuff now that our stats are pretty huge. I'll let Tarinamon do his thing. <coughs> Cough. Are we going to dodge this? Nope. There we go. Fully charged and it will immediately take him out. So, Ogremon is down! Yes, victory indeed. That was not a lot of bits, I was hoping to get more. But we get an HP chip, which is not very nice. I mean, it's nice for later, but eh. Oh really? You're, you're not gonna fight like a man? Anyway. Yeah, they won't be back for a while. Oh, turn him on, buddy. You're hungry. Here you go. Oh, did that sort you out? Yeah. So let's go a little bit further into the top area, because I want to look around, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do much, because I need MP. Oh, did you mushroom? I may actually have to go back and do some stuff in terms of grinding. Uh, that over there takes us to the glacial zone, doesn't it? Oh, what? Northwest Friesland. Yeah, we don't want to go there because that's a dangerous place for turning them on. Oops, I did not mean to fight you, so we're going to have to run from this battle. Because we don't have the MP for it. So let's just go ahead and run because... There's no point. Um, I think I'm going to have to go back and get some MP. So let's go ahead and use a... Autopilot. Um, if, they, if that HP chip sells for a lot, I will sell it. Because I'm in desperate need of bits. Which is something I normally wouldn't do. But in this case, I think we need it. And I'm not too keen on the uh, stat raising items. So... Even though they are permanent stat upgrades, they don't exactly carry over to your next Digimon, so they're basically used on your strongest Digimon and then you never get used out of them again. Oh yeah, that sells for a lot, so we'll go ahead and sell that. And buy some more MP floppies, so I'll buy about eight or nine of those, sorry. Um, let's buy a few more of those. I'll buy like two more porta potties. We have two autopilots, right? Yeah, so we're good on that. Um, and I guess I'll buy the rest in meat. 
because that's all we're going to need for the time being. Oh, we're one off from getting another thing of meat. Oh well. Later we can easily get bits very fast, so I'm not too worried about that. Hi, Bakuman. Anywho, is it mods? So let's go back over to the Great Canyon area because I'm not going to cut the video. We might run into some interesting people, I hope. And also, I'm waiting for my um, Tyramon here to digivolve. He may not do it because we do have a care mistake. Um, so, because he died to Greymon. So, we may not be able to get ourselves the uh, thing. The uh, digivolution we're looking for. If not, oh well, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I would love him to digivolve into his ultimate form, which I'm not going to spoil. Oh, no Digimushroom. So now we're going to go ahead and follow Ogremon, because he definitely went off somewhere. Hi, Dark Rizumon. Hi, Dark Rizumon. And we'll do uh, we'll do Grey Lord's Manor here in a bit. I said mansion last time, but it's actually manor. I think. I hope. I don't want to look like an idiot. Oh, invisible bridge. You can't walk off of it. You can only walk on top of it. It must have invisible guardrails. Uh, let's see. I don't think Monochromon's shop is open anymore. He, uh, after he goes to the city, I think it's vacant. So yeah, we're not going to be exploring around there. Uh, actually, do we have any more techniques? Nope. I was hoping. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get our uh, Tyranimon Digivolution. We may just end up having to let him die off and, well, fade away and then train up another Digimon. Question, does this work now? Elevator. Let's go up. To Great Canyon. This is not the top area anymore. But instead, this is a pretty cool place. Yes, it does. Sounded like an airplane burping. Nope. This is Bergeron. So we get to fight Bergeron. And I will go ahead and not use that. I'm going to use that. <laughs> so we can actually attack this thing. Uh, okay, Bergeron does a lot of damage, but. That's why I grabbed a lot of small recoveries. Toss in another MP floppy because this battle is going to hurt a lot. Yeah, so every time we get hit, we basically have to use two small recoveries, but. I'm hoping this is enough to actually get us through the battle. I don't think it will be, but it's always nice to try. Oh uh, man, I was hoping that would not happen. You can get stunned out of your uh, finishing moves, so... Is Bergeron stuck in a loop? Nope. Dang it! Bergeron, stop canceling my finisher, please. And take some damage. I'm relying on the finisher actually going off, so... Uh, 
Come on. Oh man, please. Goodness, why? Oh, Lord. Really? Really, Bergeron? I've never had this much problems with Bergeron. Well, this many problems with Bergeron. And we're out of MP. Okay, guys, I'll be right back, and I will come back whenever we're ready to do this. See you guys in a second. Make cut here. Okay, guys, so we're back. I'm done to... Please don't go off. Really? Okay, and we're back. We're in the same predicament as last time, so... Hopefully. Nope, I don't think this is going to do it. And we're back, guys. We're in the same predicament as last time, but we should be fine. Ah, there we go. Please finish this thing off. No. We're so close. Oh, dear God. Please, just... Kill the Bergeron. Two more hits. Or three. I don't care. Just kill this thing. No! We may have to use another finisher on it. Oh man. Yes. Two more hits, please. Oh god. Come on, Tyranimon. You can do this. No! Let her attack one more time, and then we got this. Yes, we win! Oh, take that, Bertramon. Dear God. Thanks for the 1,000 bits. Yes, I am good. I just took a long time and a lot of reloading. But you attacked us! Oh, really? Cool. Oh. Uh, yes, actually. <laughs> Alright. And once you actually recruit Bertramon, she'll take you back to Pile City. Yes. Now, Bertramon does some awesome things. Basically, she is a quick teleport. Uh, you just go in here, and you can go anywhere in Pile City. Or he, sorry. Yeah, you do have to pay, but you can go anywhere you've been. Um, it's pretty expensive, so areas that we can get to easily, we will just walk. Like Great Canyon, that's an easy place to get to, so we won't be paying for services by Bergeron. He's just way too expensive. Uh, actually... That's not what I want to do. We should be pretty close. I've given up on Tyranimon Digivolving. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. Uh, I'm actually going to buy some more MP floppies. We can only get three. Uh, 
Okay, you know what? Since I don't really care about these stat raising chips and I need the bits, I'm going to go ahead and go to Agamon and get them back and sell them. Um, I know a lot of people will be saying, don't sell them, but they're pretty unnecessary since later on they are literally obsolete. Um, I'll go over that because it's the exploit I was talking about in episode one or two. Um, the exploit takes place in the restaurant. So, yes, I'd like to take my items, please. I want my brain chip. These. And these. Okay, we can't carry anymore. But that should be enough bits to buy everything we need and keep us going. Because we are going back to the Great Canyon area very soon. So, let's go ahead and get us some bits and buy us some items. Then we'll go... We'll go to explore the Great Canyon a little bit more, and hopefully do what I need to do. Uh, yes, I'd like to sell. Yeah, these sell for pretty darn good. There we go. Now I can buy everything I'll ever need. So I'm actually going to take a step up and get some medium recoveries. Um, about 20 of these should do. And then I'll buy about eight of these, and then we'll buy some more porta potties and like three more autopilots, and then we're done. Uh, sort by battle, please. So we're good. Let's head back on over to the Great Canyon area. Because I'm hoping that we can find somebody out here too while we're at it. It's a rare spawn, but basically, uh, out here at Digimon Bridge, if you go down this way, there is a chance at night. So this, I think, counts as night. That when you get down to here, um, you'll be attacked by Ninjamon. He's not very useful from what I understand, because I've never gotten him before. I just know he's there. But... Um, yeah, you can you can run into him, and we need him for the prosperity points. Oh, and you're hungry? Okay, did not know you were that hungry, buddy. Here you go, eat some meat. And have the second giant meat. Wow, you are fat. There we go. I know, little dude. And Pixie Bun is still not there. I'm looking for him every time I go past that screen. Which is why I'm doing all this right now, because Pixie Bun would be nice. He upgrades the gem for you. So you gain more stats for trading less. And that would be very helpful if, for whenever I go for the ultimate that I want next. So, I could have flown with Bergeramon, but eh, he's a little bit too expensive, so I don't want to do that, because I am frugal. Let's get our butts across the invisible bridge, and go back to where Ogremon was blocking the way, and go up to the right. Better question is, you still need MP, my good friend. So have an MP floppy, and then we'll take on anything that we have to. I'm done, I'm done. Good guy. This is going to take a while. I know I said each video would be about 30 minutes, but I don't care to go over 30 minutes by a little bit. So hopefully we can get this done in the amount of time we need to. Hello, Weepon. This thing right here. This thing right here. Can I squeeze past it? Yes. Oh wait, no. I need to go uh, through the elevator. What am I doing? Let's just take off the Sanyam Mom, because this thing is annoying. It's in a very bad place. Oh, come on. Quit being faster than me. 
And quit blocking my stuff. Ow, and he hurts too. Let's use a medium recovery because we have a lot of HP now, so. Oh, really? 12 HP? Buddy, just stay down, please. <laughs> While you're at it, give me a new technique because I think he has a technique we can learn. Nope, nothing. Just some bits, which is good because we actually do need a lot of bits. Oh, you gotta poop, really? Here's some portable potties for you. He's good. Uh, now we're going to go down. And there are some Weedmon, some Kukurimon. Uh, actually, we do have that. I thought that was an object we could interact with, but it's not. Uh, this way or this way? I'm gonna say this way. Yeah, the Great Canyon bottom area. Oh, hi, Gatsuma. Uh, there's a Gururumon. Oh, it may not have been this way, it may have been the other way. Yeah, I get confused with this area a lot, so... Oh, hello. Nope, go Weedmon, go away. Weedmon, go away. Here we go, the fortress entrance. Once you deal with Ogremon, you can actually go over this way and talk to this Agumon. Yes. There we go, and now we can get into the fortress. Well, there are a ton of Gabumon. And these guys are nothing to shake a stick at, so. Ooh, a double flop. Nice. Anyway, um, we're just gonna basically not fight as much as we. We're, we're gonna try to avoid as many battles as we can, except for this time, because I ran straight into them like a derp. But. We should be able to make this fight very quick. Hopefully I have enough weapons. If not, we always have that double flop. Uh, let's get to about a thousand one hundred, because why not? And this camera angle is really weird. I mean, we can always run and come back through the area and try to avoid people, but this one is a little bit tight. Oh man, they're using Tremor. Good God. Attack! Use a Inky Flappy. I want to say that Double Floppy for a little bit. Yeah, I know this seems like overkill, but I want to get through this fast. Yay! Ooh. I think we... Yeah, War Cry learned. That's a new technique for us. So let's go and check it out. War Cry does no damage. Takes a lot of uh, MP, but... It increases, um, let's take off, I like Tremor, or Tremor. Let's take off Sonic Jump and put in Work Cry, because that could be helpful for later. No Agumon, please. And over here, we can get ourselves an Autopilot. Which is nice, which is very nice. Um, do we go this way? Yeah. And now, we're in the third part of the Ogre's Fortress. Which is this room. I don't like this room for multiple reasons. Anyway, we have to take out three Agumon. Yes. 
three dreaded Agumon. Just looking at time, I don't think we have enough time to actually do this now, so we may have to come back to it in a bit. Oh, he's Murkai. Sweet. We don't need to do it yet. Come on, buddy. While you have Murkai up, use Tremor. And it does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage, but it takes up a lot of MP. I wish I would have trained MP a little bit. Okay, that's two of them down. Oh, I hope we learn that ability, Flame Pillar, because it's really good. I think it's called Flame, like flame Pillar. Um, I don't actually remember. So. Well, we'll use a medium. Recovery. That'll get us through this area. Um, could one of you drop a double floppy or a MP chip? Not chip, but MP floppy? Ooh, we dropped something. Small recovery. Small recovery. Small recovery. Oh well, that'll help us in the next room probably. So, small recovery. Hold on, I'll feed you here in a second, buddy. Is that all you need? A feeding? Yeah. So let's get this guy up to... Um... Oh, he's happy already? Wow. That's not good. That usually means they're about to fade. Oh, is this room too? <laughs> Flop, you guys. I may have to start speeding up battles, because this is going to take forever. Flame Pillar! There we go. Again. Yeah, we're not going to have enough MP for the final area. I'm going to have to use this double flop. <laughs> I think off camera, because I don't think we're going to make it through this area anytime soon, guys. I may go and train up on some random uh, Betamon or something. So, yeah. Go train up on random Betamon. And once I do that, um, get some bits, buy some more MP floppies, and just come back here with a vengeance, basically. Because this is not going to work. But it's nice to come through this area because I get to show it off. I got some more small recoveries. Is there, are there any items in this room? Yes. Porta potty, and here is actually where Ogremon is. Um, but we can't do this, and there's this too, but we'll get to that later. Anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and um, autopilot out of here, because we're sadly at the end of the episode. We got some stuff done. Did you just refuse that? No. You take the autopilot, and you will like it. But we got halfway through what I wanted to get through. I just didn't expect MP to be that big of a problem for us. So I think between this episode and next, I'm going to um, go ahead and do some stuff. Actually, it should almost be day 15. Uh, let's see if we can get some more meat, and then we'll end the episode here. And Okay, we can't. Then I'm going to go try and get some bits and get some items that we're going to need for the future. And I will see you guys next episode. See you guys then.